<laughs> hey everybody, it's Matthew of Mr. Domestic. Welcome to the Fundamentals of Fabric Weaving. This video is going to focus on the preparation of your strips. Now before we get into the content, make sure to click the subscribe button and get ready to have some fun. Hey folks, this video is going to show you how I prepare my fabric strips for fabric weaving most of my projects. I have two sizes of strip. One is a two inch with the fabric strip here, and then the other is a half inch with the fabric. And the difference between this and bias tape is this is not cut on the bias, it's cut on the grain of the fabric. So these are the tools that you'll need for the two inch with the fabric strip. I do this one by hand. So there is the option to have thermal thimbles. These are very good if you're newer to this because it'll keep you from burning your fingers, but I've done this for a minute, so I don't really need them. And this is how I get started. I put it right side down and then I fold it towards the center, probably about four to six inches like this. And then I get going with my steam iron and then the curve will just follow. As you can see, that one, I was nowhere close to the iron. Let me do this again so that you can see. So put my iron down and then I'll prepare where it's going to go and then I'll iron over it. And then you just fold it. It's like it follows that initial fold that you did whenever you were finger pressing the beginning and it makes it so much easier than any other way that I've done it. See, now it is done. Ba-boom, ba-boom. And yes, doing it by hand this way takes a little bit longer than using the bias tape maker, but these are thicker strip gels, so there's really no reason to complain. And then this is the one inch with the fabric strip. And this is where I do whip out the half inch bias tape maker. And this is where I use the seam ripper. There's so many good uses for that, that point in the seam ripper. If you've used this tool before, you'll see that I'm using it backwards. If you've never used it, then you feed it in through the bottom like so, and then there's a slit here, and how I use this, the opening, is I'll use the point of the seam ripper to push it through until it gets to the end, and then I'll just use that point to allow it to go through again. And then just like the two inch with the fabric strip, I finger press the beginning of this, and then you would think this takes longer because it's smaller, but it doesn't. Let me show you what I do. High heat, high steam, get to the end, right here and then shh, magic that took no time at all <laughs> it's kind of like creating your own little electric bias state maker without having one so now i have eliminated the barrier of preparing these amazing strips for fabric weaving so you can get started enjoying the most awesome thing you can do with fabric thanks for watching my video you can subscribe on the right just click on my face and watch some of my other videos on the left